we don't have the eyes that we can see. And the bodies, cause, well, we're going to have the same type of body that he has. Because according to Corinthians, it says, when he comes, we shall be as he is. He didn't say that about the fucking other nations, man. So fuck you other nations, man. This power you can only dream of, man. The Lord, the Lord going to give us God-like power, man. Mm. And niggas don't want that. You don't want God-like power, man. You watch shit like X-Men, Magneto, he walking, and the floor coming together. Metal, he walking on. You think that's just a fucking movie, man. Cause you niggas stupid, man. That's real, man. Every read wisdom of Solomon, seventh chapter, where we gonna have control of the elements. So if you don't want to have control over the for the, of, of the atoms and the uh, molecules and to be able to make it coalesce or or scatter, you know, saying you 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 fuck your minds are this fucking big, man. Lord is greater than what you can ever imagine, and being the people of the Lord is greater than what you can ever imagine. Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Wawar Kar Kodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ as his uh, true name. And Kar Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing this word in all truth and all sincerity. And you know, I opened that um, <clears throat> the video up with uh, a clip that I saw and they had the the elder Uriah and the brother Lahab out here in GMS Chicago um, they were pretty much getting into how the elect they're gonna get spiritual powers and that's a, a promise you know to the Israelites you know we're gonna be you know above and beyond all right than the rest of these uh, nations um, Israel in the Hebrew is Yasharala which means he is the prince of, of of the power, basically. All right, Yah meaning he, sharp prince, and Allah power. All right, and we are the children of the Most High. Okay, and the Lord is going to separate us from these uh these heathens. All right, there's going to be a, a a great distinction in the kingdom. Okay, you know, like I said, you know, through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Shai, these. You know, terrestrial bodies that we're in, uh, we're, we're gonna um, exit these bodies, okay? Our spirit's gonna exit these bodies, and we're gonna get, uh, uh, you know, celestial bodies. We're gonna get, you know, uh, spiritual bodies. All right, we're gonna have, um, you know, perfect, you know, bodies. Very, very soon, okay? Now I'm gonna start off with. Uh, <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 15 and um, actually it's Salakia. No, that's not what I wanted. Salakia, let me double check this. There we go. This is what I wanted. This is uh 1 Corinthians. <coughs> Um, here we go. Yep, yeah, there we go. This is uh, first Corinthians 15 and 47. The first man is of the earth, earthly, the second man is of the Lord from heaven. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. As we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. In, in the uh, the earthly, it's talking about Adam, okay? And the heavenly is talking about Yahweh Shai. And when we have borne the image of the earthly, all right? And when we um, when we enter into this uh, world, you know, we're basically uh, going to sin, okay? With these earthly bodies, because this body is a uh, subject to vanity, okay? Th this body is going to uh, um, make you. Uh, fall, all right, and we are uh, um, we are near the time period where we're gonna uh, bear the image of the heavenly. Okay, we're gonna be perfect like Yahweh Shai. All right, which means we're we're gonna um, uh, keep the law, statutes, and commandments perfectly, and we're gonna get 
spiritual powers. We're going to have spiritual uh, strength. Okay? We're going to be able to uh, resurrect the uh, uh, the dead. We're going to be able to, you know, um, uh, teleport, read minds, walk on water, manipulate the elements. These things are going to come to pass very soon. Okay? I'm going to keep reading uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, 50 now. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doeth corruption inherit cor uh, incorruption. Alright? And, and this, in this particular body that we're in, we can't inherit the kingdom. We can't be perfect. Okay? We can't uh, uh, inherit corruption if we're in this corrupt body. So the Lord's going to have to do... Uh, something uh, uh, miraculous to us, all right. In order for us to get the, uh, uh, in order for us to inherit the kingdom, to inherit uh, in corruption, all right. And that means that what the Lord is going to do is change our bodies. Okay. It says, "Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all all sleep, but we shall all be changed." In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised uh, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay? And that's what's going to happen. Very soon the Lord is going to uh, 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 exalt us to another level. You know, something that, that we can't even fathom yet. Alright? You know, we're going to, like I said, have the law, statutes, and commandments in us. We're gonna, we're not going to um, um, sin anymore. That's something that we can't even imagine, okay? And on top of that, we're going to have, uh, like, uh, like I was saying, spiritual powers. Because we're going to do the things like Yahweh Shai. Because uh, um, he said that... We're going to do greater works than he. Let me see if I can find that. Yep. Um, here we go, right here. This is uh, uh, John 14 and 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I sh uh, that I do shall he do also. So what what did Yahweh Shai do? Okay, he he like I said he he raised um, the uh, the dead, cleansed the lepers, uh, um, gave sight to the blind, was able to walk on water, manipulate the elements, you know, teleport. You know, he, he did all sorts of things. He he, uh, he healed a man, um, uh, um, that Roman soldier that that that, that uh, had his ear chopped off. He uh, was able to uh, uh, um, cure it, replace it, regenerate it. All right, that ear. We're gonna be able to do these works, and what else does it say? And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So there's things that we can't even uh, um. Imagine that we're gonna do, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has great things uh, 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 for the for the elect, okay? For the nation of Israel, all right? And these people, uh, these heathens, they're gonna know who who the gods of of this uh, uh, world um, is, okay? Very soon, all right? Like I said, the Lord is gonna make a a distinction. Very soon, who his people are, who are not. Okay, and um, I wanted to get that. Uh, um, uh, where is it? Uh, Romans. Uh, I think that's the eighth chapter, the seventeenth verse. Yep. <clears throat> Romans 8 
Oh, I'm gonna read also down to 18. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Romans um, 8 and 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so be uh, that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. And since we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, we're, we're going to have uh, 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 great things come to us. Okay? He, 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 uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, it says in um, Isaiah the 47th chapter, that Yahweh Shai is not going to meet uh, uh, thee as a man. So the Lord is going to allow his men, all right, to have the same powers, all right? The Lord is going to uh, to change the elect, okay? You know, these, these are great promises unto us. And it says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And exactly, the things that we're going through right now is nothing compared to what we're going to get. Okay. Yeah, there's times where you get sick. That's you know, uh, vexing. You know, you you uh, um. I'm trying to think. You know, you you deal with you know daily affliction such as going to work. You know, do you deal with financial stress? Uh, um, you know, contention in your household. But that's nothing to compare to what we're gonna get. All right, and you in Akim, we got to remember that constantly. Oh, we got to continue to endure these afflictions, and remember that the Lord has a, a great uh, uh, works and promises coming to us. All right, you know. And um, man, what did I want to get? It just slipped my mind. I'm trying to think. No, I'm going to get that uh, Psalms 86, verse 85. Psalms 82. Psalms 82 and 6, it says... I said, ye are God, and all of you are the children of the Most High. And that's right. And the, the Lord said that we are gods. You know, we aren't the Most High, all right? But the Lord is going to give us a, 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 a great power, okay? Like I said, the Lord is going to uh, distinguish the children of Israel, all right, from uh, the heathen. People are going to know. We're going to have that glow, okay, in the kingdom. We're gonna have that glow. I think that's in Roman or Daniel's the twelfth chapter. Talks about how we're gonna have like a shine to us, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. This is Daniel's twelve and three. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. We're, we're, we're gonna be uh, shining. All right. These heathens are, aren't going to be able to really look at us, you know? You know, like as um, the children of Israel couldn't look at Moses when the Lord um, basically, um, uh, after uh, Yahweh, uh, 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 Yahweh Bashim Shai talked to him, okay? Moses had a, a glow onto him where they had to... Uh, it was so, uh, so intense and, and so extreme that they had to put a veil on him. All right, they they couldn't deal with it, and that's what's gonna happen. Well, we're just gonna have that glow, all right. You know how you see uh, in Dragon Ball Z, Goku, you know Vegeta, you know all, all the, the, the you know the mighty men in that show. They had a, a glow to them, especially when they turned into Super Saiyans, all right. And that's what's gonna happen to us. We're about to turn into a uh, 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 you know a Super Israelite, so to speak, man. All right. We're about to be in our God, uh, uh, God mode, man, very soon, you know. And, you know, this was just a, you know, quick little video. And I hope this was edifying. Well, I was just inspired to do a, a lesson, you know, you know from that, uh, that clip that I uh, ended up seeing. And with that, 
I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutations to you brothers out there.